We can take existing designs created for cutters and save them for machine files for automated rhinestone machines for the ASC file format. In order to do so, we have to have our design pulled up in Corel. And um, with this, this design up in Corel, we have to make sure to change the color uh, management to RGB. So when we do click on a color, we will be able to see the RGB values. And you can see the light blue has an RGB value of 120, 161, 202. The darker blue has the uh, RGB value of 86, 74, 143. So I need to take those values into my Strauss CAD uh, software, input them, and assign stones to them. So we will now go to Strauss CAD, and in here we go to Options, and then Settings. In the Settings, we will go to Clipboard as Stones, and in here we will go to the Source Color and left click inside there. For this software, we do need, do need to use commas instead of uh, decimal points. And for the first color, um, the lighter blue, we had the 120, um, and then comma, 161, comma, 202. So the 120 was the R, 161 was G, and 202 was B. Now we go to the stone color, we'll assign a color to it, we'll assign blue to it, and here we will also assign SS10, or the VS10. The second one is going to be 86, comma, 74, comma, 143. We will assign a, a stone color to it, we'll assign cyan, and then the SS10 as well. And really it doesn't matter what colors are in here, it's really what colors are in your um, machine. So we will go ahead and accept these settings. Next I would like to bring up a new design, so I'll go to File and New, and in here I will um, paste my design in here. Now if you need to change your um, worksheet, you can do that under Options and Settings, and here we have our page setting, our page is 30 by 30, which is going to be good for the uh, about 12 by 12 tray. So we will go ahead and accept that. And now I need to go into Edit and Paste. Once I do that, uh, we want to treat this as a stone, so I make sure that is checkmarked, and then Get Clipboard. I'll go ahead and left click, and then it says, um, do you need that bitmap data? I hit no, and now I've got my design in here. So I'll go ahead and close this out. Uh, with this, I can look at the design and I can determine if any stones uh, may have some problems being either duplicated or uh, hitting each other, or whatever it may be. That is this icon here at the top, this check stone collisions. If I select that, it's saying that I do have some duplicates, and if I check mark uh, next to the duplicate with a left click and a left click, I can see where there's some duplicates, uh, and maybe there's two lines around it. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit delete on my keyboard and delete those, um, those duplicates. So I would have one stone on top of another with that. Um, so what we're going to do, let's go ahead and zoom out. If I want to move the design, I can move it wherever I want on the sheet. You know, maybe I want to take this and move it up to the corner or, you know, wherever you'd like to, to have it. Um, we can do lots of different things such as, you know, do multiple if we want. But for now, let's go ahead and save the file as an ASC file. To save that, I'd go to File and Export as an ASC file. Here, uh, this will ask me where I want to save it to and what I want to name it. I will go ahead and go to my desktop. I have a file folder in here called Hotfix, and I will name this as Cross. 
I already have one in here that's named cross, but I'm just going to go ahead and rename or you know save over on top of it. I'll hit save. It'll ask me if I want to replace it. I'll say yes. And now it's giving me all the information. Uh, there's no stone collisions, you see. And it's telling me that the blue has 52 pieces and then the cyan has 64 pieces. So the blue is the inside, the cyan is the outside. I'll go ahead and hit accept. Now it's generating that file. It's giving me all the points of where each stone is going to lay down. Now if I'd like to print out a worksheet, what I can do is go up to File and Print. And in here I will um, do this file at 50% and I want to make sure that I print out my information and I will print this out landscape. I'll go ahead and hit Accept. Once I hit Accept it shows me the design information. I'll go ahead and accept that and I can click on the screen kind of how I you know where I want that to be on the page you can see my A4 paper uh, although we will normally be printing in uh, you know eight and a half by eleven but I'm going to go ahead and keep, put that in about the center and left click once I do that now you can see that information uh, as it would print I'll go ahead and zoom in at 100%, maybe even a little bit closer, 200%. And here you can see the design information. And I'll scroll over here so you can see the, the actual um, information for the motif and whatnot. So there is your um, design info. It shows me the scale of the design. You can print it at uh, where it will fit to the page. I'll go ahead and close this out and now you can take that design over to your machine. There are some things that you can change in the software um, in that if you do want to you know copy several pieces uh, or you know do gang up these designs uh, you can do so. So in order to take this design, I'm just using my scroll mouse and scrolling up uh, to take this design and copy and paste it basically or you know do multiple designs, what I can do is I can left click hold and drag and select all my stones. So what I've marked I'd like to multiple paste. So I'll go to edit and copy, edit, multiple paste. When I do so you can see that my cursor's kind of uh, at that same point that I had my uh, X and I can go ahead and move that cursor, or I'm sorry, move my design where I want and left click to set and keep going and I can left click to set, left click to set, you know, so on and so forth. Um, once I am done I can right click to get out of the tool or I can also hit escape and then you'll see now I have um, you know five crosses instead of just one and I could export it that way so you know you can do multiple designs on a sheet if you wanted to bring in another design maybe you have another design that you'd like to gang up on here you can define the RGB values and then paste it in from Corel so that is the way that you can take all your existing designs that are ready for a cutter and save them to uh, the machine file format that you can automatically create these designs uh, directly onto that transfer paper.